Hey, um, I thought I'd rather just make a video so that it's a bit quicker um, than trying to message everything. Okay, so first of all, um, my LT Spice interface might look a bit different from yours because it's on Mac, but the principles are the same. New schematic, um, it helps when you put a grid on the back by view, grid dots. Um, then you can lay down a wire. I usually just use um, F3, otherwise you can just check what works for you. Um, to add components, you can right click. So right click um, draft wires, components, net name, spice directive, everything that you need. To escape from something that you're busy with, you also just right click. So um, I'm now going to say F2, components, resistor. Okay, I want to rotate the resistor, control R, placing a resistor, let's rotate it again, placing another resistor, um, <clears throat> F2, I'm going to put an inductor in there, one inductor, turn it around, another inductor, for the voltage source, again, F2, it's the normal, you use the normal voltage source as is, and then with right click to escape, you right click on it so that it makes a little hand, and then advanced, set it to sine wave, altitude, um, I mean amplitude, I think they said, okay, 2, frequency 10 kilohertz. Um, let's see what else we need, okay, for ground. Draft, um, net name, add a ground, put it down there, and now to get the, um, okay, so this part there turns the inductors into, um, into a transformer, so you can just say right click, draft, spice directive, I'm just going to copy and paste it from there, so I need all of this. Um, this is just the one that gets it going, so that's just the operation that says do, um, that tells it how to run. And um, if it doesn't want to run because there's some sort of a bug in your Alti Spice, then this is the operation that makes it run. It's possible that yours can run without it. Um, this is the K directive that turns the inducers into um, into a transformer. I'm naming it whatever um, the names are of the inducers. So say L1, L2, and the one that you see there is the one that he um, talks about um, in the actual. Um, question but anyway it's it's one for everyone so you can just leave that there. Uh, how you get this ratio is um, the ratio that they give um, is usually I think it's for everyone it's 200 to 260 you just just square both sides so for the value here we'll do 40,000 for 200 squared and then for this value I think it was 67600 if you want to move something, you can say F7, move that out of the way. Okay, let's see if I'm missing anything. Oh, okay, and also just make sure that this is in micro. micro. Okay, um, what am I missing? And Okay, so the resistor values, right click on that actual, um, on that icon, what was it, 560. And for this one, I'm just going to say 1K, or you can put in a thousand. Okay, let's see if everything is in there. Okay, so this is the basic circuit, and when you run it, um, you can just press on the little man or press right-click run, however you want to do. Then, um, uh, I'm not sure what it would look like on your Alti Spice, but there should be an icon, add trace. And there you can look for, um, for example, the current going through whatever is labeled as V1.
and there you have it if you want to zoom into that you can get there and then you have 1.761 milliamp and that's the current that would be going through v1 over there 